Welcome to this edition of The Roadie Reporter. I'll be your host for the segment, Mark Zakaria. On Monday, May 11th, a demonstration took place at the Rhode Island State House. In itself, that's not really news. There are activists out and about on the Marble Plaza by Smith Street almost every day. This one was different, though. The truly grassroots, truly ad hoc committee that organized this event was not swayed by the temptation of civil disobedience. These adults were more interested in selling Governor Raimondo on the idea of dialing back some of her restrictive executive orders than on getting their pictures in the papers. To concentrate on the message of helping not harming the plan all along was to maintain social distance, wear masks, and limit pedestrian crowds. There was no appetite for publicly ignoring any of the governor's orders as a show of defiance. Instead, the group desperately wanted to lobby Ms. Raimondo. They wished to convince her that the, that the health and well-being of her constituents would benefit from relaxing some of these restrictions that were killing the local economy. So the speeches were all focused on real stories of real effects of the lockdown. The speakers were broadcast on WNRI radio so that anyone could listen in. The noise was provided by tuned-in supporters who paraded around the State House safely isolated in their cars and trucks. It was a demonstration, not a protest, and it was staged for an audience of one. There were assertions that Rhode Island was just like other states that needed to reopen. However, April has not been reported, but Rhode Island's unemployment was very similar to the national unemployment in those three months. So it's not difficult to think Rhode Island employment would have... Rhode Islanders were characterized as adults who could be relied on to do the right thing. We know what precautions to take. We know how to wash our hands. We know how to social distance, okay? But besides that, even if you don't have a compromised immune system, what have happened to personal responsibility? They were pleased for the governor to have the courage of her convictions and release the economy to let it grow again. It's too slow. We need the people. We're going to lose old businesses. And number one, let's reopen the churches. Let me hear you out there. All this brought a certain amount of derision from the blogosphere. A number of individual activists with a range of axes to grind quickly began taking shots at the effort. It was not violent enough for some of their tastes. Others thought it was way too conformist to attract attention. Still others counseled a much more antisocial tone. None of them did any organizing though, and all of them missed the point. This Monday demonstration was about communicating to the governor and not really with anyone else. Now the question is, did the governor understand the gesture? Did she consider any of the organizers' ideas most importantly? Will she be moved? For answers to those questions, we wait.